So today I want to teach you how to track a button on Facebook. So we're in our Facebook ads manager, business.facebook.com, events manager page, and here's our pixel, our data source. So let's click that pixel. And now it's here, set up, install pixel, set up new events. So we added a form to our website that has a button. When we click that button, it doesn't take someone to a new page. So we want to track that button click in line. So there's two ways to do this. We can either use the Facebook event setup tool or manually add that event code. So I'll show you this first manually. So what is our event? Does it fall under e-commerce? We can select that event code here. So our website specifically is education. So let's scroll down. When someone submits our form, that is a lead. They are submitting information and now they are our lead. So let's click that one. So as you can see, track event on page load, that is if they click the button and it takes them to another website, such as a thank you page, that is a track event on page load. So I would put this script, track lead, on the thank you page. So copy this, you can paste it right into the body of that thank you page. Now, if clicking that submit form doesn't take the user to a thank you page, rather it just submits their information and they stay on that same page, this is an inline action. You need to track that event in line because there's no event on a new page load, rather in line on the same page. So page load, separate page load. Inline means you stay on the same page. So we would need to integrate this into our button coding. So they give you an example of how to do this down here. Here's our button ID, such as a submit button. And before the closing script tag for that button click, just paste in this event code for a lead. We would paste it in right here in our coding, insert event code. Now, if you're not a web developer, I would not do this method. Hire one on Upwork. This will cost you $5. You could mess up your entire site's coding if you paste this incorrectly. Okay, so let's use the other method. Set up, set up new events, use Facebook's event setup tool. So just enter your website where that button is. Okay, now it should load. There it is, the Facebook event setup tool. So as you can see, they're already tracking a couple leads. And so this is what I want. Facebook has automatically tracked this claim now button as a lead. We could edit it. We could delete it. We could track a new button if there's another button on this page. But as you can see, it's automatically tracks. So as long as you're happy with it being a lead, like I could change it to, that means add to cart, initiate checkout. But that's how good Facebook is. They know, oh, first name, email, claim now, that's most likely a lead. So that's great, cancel, we're good. As long as it's green, that means we are tracking this as a lead. So since it's green, we can just click finish setup. Yeah, no events have been changed or added. Okay, we're good here, close this. And now we can see those specific event fires right in this data source dashboard for our Facebook pixel. So here's our lead, let's view details. So we have 514 events, edit, and as you can see, button text is claim now.